But where I'd love to start is, um, why don't you share who you are? So you're Nancy with Truth and Brand and tell us a little bit about what you do. Uh, Yeah, for sure. So um, my background started, I've been in my profession like 20 years. Nice. I I keep learning this. I started pretty much in corporate communications and public relations. Wow. Uh, Facebook was not even around, right? So um, as soon as I came online, I started learning about social media, you know, like at the beginning. And oh, yes. And every passing of time, I realized that it's super easy to be left behind. Mm. So I did my first 10 professional years of hardcore communications. Like, and that's why I value content so much. And I do believe in content, mm. like good quality, informative, uh, hardy content. Uh, after that, I changed to marketing and then digital marketing. So now, fast forward 20 years, um, I, through Truth and Brand, I onboard clients and help them through auditing all their channels and website. I use SMrush and I help mm-hmm. them with Google search console. So I do a bit of SEO for them, a little bit of branding and content marketing, but I find that I don't have the capacity Mm, to write. Yeah. So, yeah. So right now you're, are you like telling people, no, I can't do content marketing for you? Or are you trying to write it yourself? No, I pretty much say I cannot do that for you. But oh, you're here. turning away money, ma'am. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I'm, I get it. It's hard. It is. <laughs> and it's only myself, right? Too. So right now I have 10 clients. So I'm juggling mm. them. Yeah. And just pretty much giving them a roadmap of what they should write based on the keywords. Mm. And then they write and I kind of tweak. Um, but yeah, so I am turning away. Uh, money and even potential clients sometimes. Yes. Oh, which stinks. But you know what? Like I ran a writing agency. I'm sure you know my story. You yes, know, I ran I a writing do. agency and like you can't find good writers unless you spend hours. Yes. And so that's what I'm so excited about Continent Scale and that, you know, you found me and we're here because I'll tell you what Continent Scale does is incredible. Like it's going to save all that time and trouble because now your baseline is. AI. So let's, let's just dive in. If you're ready, I have like yeah, our sure. training segments it out. Cool. Awesome. So let me share my screen and I'm going to get right into, first of all, these are just some highlights that come from a talk that I gave on stage here in Austin. Um, and then again, yesterday. So this is like a talk I've been giving that's really um, empowering a lot of people to think differently. So first of all, like these statistics, this right here, this is the reason why we're at a never been here before in the history of, you know, doing content for 10 years, where AI is actually acceptable. So we can now tell our clients, we're using AI to save tons of time. But hey, we're making the content better by humanly optimizing it, right? And that's why I'm going to show you how to sell AIO, that's going to be your process. But this is why like these statistics, I don't know if you know, but ChatGPT was the fastest adapted technology in the world. You already know. (laughs) It's so crazy. But see, like, and that's where every time something comes up, right? I'm I'm hesitant. Um, Yes, as you should be. That's wisdom. And then when I heard you back up um, content at scale, I'm like, okay, I trust Julia. (laughs) I've been following you through years. And I, yeah, and I read your story and I've been reading every, like a lot of also personal things that you put out there. And Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, no, I trust Julia. So I started digging into all your, like some of your videos and things. I'm like, yeah, content at scale seemed to be a good solution for, yeah. Exactly. And like you were saying earlier, you believe in content marketing, you you know, good quality content. That's why you and I are uh, speaking too. you know, because if you were like, well, I don't really care about the quality of content, then you'd probably be using chat GPT for 20 bucks a month. Yes. But you know, <laughs> that quality content equals results. Yes. You know, so we have to have this approach. 
So the AIO approach is we're going to use continent scale as the baseline. And then either that's going to be you or hiring a writer part time. You know, I have a job copy description doc I'm going to share with you after our call. So like you'll have the resources to even go and hire a writer and say, hey, here's the software, go use it and spend a maximum of two hours to make that content good. So your price drops tremendously, right? And if I go down to the actual model here, you know, we could be here for the whole day, but we won't be. So this is the actual model where you're taking that human only process that, you know, four hours, oh my gosh, my writer would take seven. And yeah, then you're, yeah, some people, yeah, that's yes, right. Yeah. That's typical. So instead of that, you're running it through confidence scale, getting the same baseline output, just as good, sometimes better in under five minutes. And then you're layering on the human after that. So that complete baseline you're replacing now completely. And then, you know, this is the baseline example of getting five times faster at one fourth the cost. But we did have one client get 11 times their cost down. So <laughs> This can go up. And for right now, like you're not even offering this. So I think you have incredible potential, you know, to make money by adding this. So the first thing I wanted to do, because you gave me a nice little outline of what to do. I want to flip the points you gave me. And I want to start by actually using this tool to write. And then we'll go into how do we package yeah. it? How do we sell it? Because once you see how it works, I think like, your brain, because you're smart, you've run a business, you've done it for a while, like you'll immediately think of additional ways to sell this in ways I probably wouldn't. <laughs> so I, that's why I want to start here. So who are we writing content for? You could either do it for a client or yourself. Uh, let's do it for one of my clients that is like the one industry that I have least amount of um, in-depth knowledge because normally mm -hmm. I only take people that are um, like I'd say adventurous but that run for example I don't know climbing adventures or in the sports adventures fee uh, field or races or stuff mm -hmm. like that or creatives or non-for-profits but this one real estate guy contacted me he's super keen so I'm working with him. Okay. So we can oh. try to write something for him because that's the one that I am like, I, it's my first client. I was really honest with him. I'm like, I know how to do this and this and this real estate. You're going to have to guide me because. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I don't... Makes um, sense. Yeah. Awesome. I like that. Let's go in that direction. So what is their company name? Oh my God. Okay. So it's Canmore Thomas. Dot com. Mm, how do you spell that? Uh, C A N M O R E T H O M A S dot com. Oh, and it's at okay. N M. N M. Got it. Canmore yeah. Thomas. And then it's dot com for the URL. Yeah. And Let then me drop we, that. Yeah. So his website, it's a disaster in terms of the content right we're mm. starting to work in like redoing everything oh good because he did it all himself I'm like Ugh. oh dear <laughs> he <has laughs> lots of, um, he's a really good agent and uh, um, he's really giving to the community that's what wow. we're doing. look yeah. at all these testimonials that's the same <laughs> thing I mean he needs to display them better but <laughs> it's <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> so who does he, what's his um, niche whenever he's serving clients? Is it like everyone or is it families? Um, pretty much everyone. Okay. Um, and more, you cannot find any homes or like, well, condos, I even should say mm. below 700,000. Okay. Really crazy. Um crazy market so I would say upscale that would be the one commonality that people have to have mm, that's to good buying here and it's strictly this location that he names yes or BAMP and the Bow Valley cool yeah. so we will put that in for the so there's two parts here in the project context 
who this person is and then who they serve. And if it's not a person, you know, like this is a personal brand, I would put in, um, I would actually describe like the services. Like, for example, if we were describing Walmart, Walmart sells a variety of retail goods. So that's what you would put there if it wasn't a personal brand. So here's a question. Um, well, I guess it doesn't matter. The project name doesn't really matter. So (laughs) I'm like, I see two, two ways he's describing his name here. So I'm, yeah, I've tried to tell him that, right? Oh, this is the people that I, (laughs) (laughs) not everyone's like that. A a lot of my other clients are more sophisticated, but some small businesses or small personal brands. Um, I'm like, Thomas, you need to focus here. He's like, no. It's I'm oh. Thomas, but people now call me Canmore Thomas. And it's true, right? Like, because he's everywhere mm. in Canmore volunteering. I'm like, okay. okay. Interesting. Like, so okay. that's tied to his location. Yeah. Yeah, still confusing. Yes, it is confusing. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to, to see it from somebody outside, right? For sure. Agreed. So for his tone of voice, I was going to go ahead and pick informative, but I want to ask you too, you know, do you know like a specific tone that he would have? And we can either type one in or pick one. Informative would be good because it's nice. But too, yeah. Yeah. And that will get you really good output. We've noticed with this particular AI writer. So informative, it's just, it, and that's the thing I love best about consonant scale. You know, it's three different language generation tools. So when ChatGPT was down this week, this tool was never down. So I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still trucking and you can use it for your clients. So I love that about it. Okay. So let's write a blog for him. Do you have a keyword you want him to rank for already picked uh- out? let's say uh real estate in canmore is that is that so a we, phrase or we should frame a, it with like okay. informational like how to or what okay. is um how to find the best condos in or yeah. uh, what was the investment yeah let's say Yes, investment condos. Yeah. Okay. Find the best. Or can you frame it as uh, which are the best investment properties in Canmore? Or, yeah. Mm, Okay. I think if we do, we go in that direction, it won't have knowledge of like, listing out properties. Like, you know, if we were doing like a Redfin style listing, so it's not going to be able to do that. Like number one is this specific listing. So we want to kind of keep the keyword broader so it can pick points of interest. If that makes sense. Perfect. Yes. For long form. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I'm wondering, is this a large enough area? I'm wondering too. Yeah. Should we go, is there a way we could go broader or what if we went in the direction of something like, um, well, I I would still want to tie it to his ideal buyers. So how to, what if we touched on investment, like a how-to guide for how to reinvest your money into investment condos or something like that? Yes. And then what that'll do is that'll educate his clients, you know? Yes, so, that's perfect. Yeah. 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 How to reinvest your money um, in investment. And I wonder, do I have that right? Is that like the term people would use? Like I'm looking for an investment condo or yeah. should we just say condos? How to yeah. reinvest? Okay. Nice. So then we're going to give it some context. And one thing I like to do is I like to take this keyword, drop it into Google and just like look humanly at the SERPs. And our tool actually does that. So it looks at SERPs on the spot the minute you hit run post, which is pretty magical because this is the, the, my writers, do you know how many writers didn't know how to do this part? And I had to train them and, you know, so that was, <laughs> do you know how to look at SERPs? No, I don't. 
That's where I first uh, saw you. You were in a podcast with uh, Jason Bernard, who does okay. the Yeah, back in 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's how you found me. That's amazing. <laughs> I love Jason. He's a good person. Yeah, he's funny with his little. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome well I'll have to give him a shout out how, that's how I met Nancy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm noticing like right away the first article here is are they a good investment is it a smart decision and then it's like how to make money so what I would want to do is kind of blend those things and go really long form with this so we could say write an in-depth guide and this is what you want to do in the context is you're okay. basically pretending like you're talking to the world's best writer. So the awesome. world's best writer is here. And <laughs> how would you tell them <laughs> to write this guide? So what I would say, write an in-depth guide, um, teaching um, buyers how and why condos are a good investment. And this is something I'm, I'm just rereading and I'm going to see what I can take from it. It was in the featured snippets. So it's a good, you know, like <laughs> Google yeah. prefers that. Yeah. With lower purchase prices and more desirable locations. Okay. Uh, let's see. Describe how condos can be profitable investment properties and an enjoyable vacation home. So multi-purpose there. Yeah. Is that, does that fit what his buyers are yes. looking for? Yeah, for sure. Nice. Yeah. So I'm going to harp on that. Let's see. Describe how condos can be multi-purpose, profitable investment properties, comma, and an enjoyable vacation home for the investor. Um, and then let's see, summarize. Let's see how to make money with condo and townhouse units to rent out. I'm going to grab that wording because I like that. Yeah. And that would be relevant, I'm sure, for his audience still yes, right absolutely nice. yeah we have a lot of um condos here for airbnbs and mm, okay rentals and so yeah for sure airbnb i'm gonna write that in there airbnb yeah. because we are um now we've become a resort town we were a mining town mm. um, and when i moved here like we were really small and now it's almost like a resort town it's getting wow. uh, interesting it's good yes yeah. So I like this. I think this is more than enough what we need. Usually it's like two to three sentences max is okay. what I'll put in here. You can put a lot, like it allows for a lot, but I've noticed you really don't need a lot because it's so good. <laughs> so <laughs> which is amazing. <laughs> right. An in-depth guide teaching buyers how and why condos are a good investment. Should we say buyers or investors? Buyers is fine. Okay. Um, yeah, because he's got some first time buyers ever. Uh, mm. that they're just buying here because they have enough money and they know the prices will never decrease. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Then, yeah, we should definitely be broad with that. Describe how condos can be multi purpose as, as a profitable investment property and an enjoyable vacation home for the buyer. We'll go back to that word. I think that's a good word. Summarize how to invest in condo and townhouse units to summarize best practices nice. for how to invest. So that's a good, that's a good nice. prompt. I feel good about that. Yeah. So there's two things we can do here. If we hit customize, it'll actually write a content brief for us. So it's going to write this. So here we go. It gave us a list of five. First, it says evaluate the market. Do you feel like these are accurate to what he would recommend people yeah. do? Yeah. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yeah. That's great. So then if we don't want to change this and I I'll tell you in writing a lot of content, I've rarely to never change this because it's, it's good. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's the truth. So I'm going to hit create content now. And usually it takes like two to four minutes to write. That's so now it's crazy. Just, just I even know. Just even the content brief, right? Like, I know yeah. an hour because while you write the flow and the, the order and yeah. 
Yes. And like you, you know, you were just saying like how much work it would take for you to research all those points. Like me too. Yes. I used to yeah. have to write real estate content. <laughs> <laughs> And then like, we try to hire real estate writers in my writing agency. And that was really hard. It is hard. It's just such a niche. Yeah. 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 Niche topic for sure. So here you can see if you hover on the status, you can see like at any point in time, the progress. So it's, it finished fetching SERP. So it crawled the 17 top SERPs and it's pulling content, rewriting that, you know, I got to say that was one of the biggest selling points for me on this tool besides the quality, which was probably just as equally important because like pulling fresh data from SERPs, you know, chat GPT doesn't even do that. And that's yeah. something I found when I was using it. Okay. Can we blog with this thing? And I was like, I can't even trust the first paragraph because there's no SEO knowledge at all. Yeah. yeah. And the makers of the tool, to be fair, like they don't know SEO. Open AI probably has never had to do an SEO campaign like you and I have. <laughs> yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. No, yes. So do you use it for your own business as well? I do. For that's the agent. first thing I started doing actually was um, adapting our content. Because when I saw it, I was like, okay. The tool I've been looking for is here. So I gave it to my writer. It was a Friday. And she tells me by the end of the day, all these blogs, by the way, all of them were baseline from this tool. So every single blog you see. So she came back and told me on that Friday, she's like, I went from seven hours to we're going to be able to do this in about one to two hours max. And that's look amazing. At these. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. That's not easy to write. <laughs> look no. at that. So she's going in and adding in, you know, my original yes. concepts. Yeah. So that's like your one hour of a CTA here to my product. So that's your one hour of additional work is just to go through it, add links. Um, you know, my, I have a whole framework I'll show you real quick here as it's writing the piece. I have a whole framework that guides that called craft. And I'll send you, we have individual tutorials on each of these. So if you follow this framework, every time your content will come out human, like without fail, and you've still written with AI as the baseline and nobody knows, like, like, would you guess that AI wrote my blog? No, not at all. Exactly. (laughs) And I love what you said, because I heard it somewhere in maybe one of your videos or a post that it's like you, um, you do go in and add your knowledge and opinions. Yes. Like, don't, I'm like, yes, exactly. You don't just spit out and set it yes. up for it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I know you appreciate that, just knowing like your brand values. So if you, my idea for you, and we'll talk about this after the tool writes, my idea for you is like pretty much to give you all of our assets and then enable you to say, This is what I'm doing with AI content, like this craft framework. It's yours. It's not just mine. It's yours. You know, you can say this is our process at Truth and Brand and basically put your stamp on all the knowledge I'm going to share with you. So I think that's more than white labeling. You know, that's not even the word I want to use because this is as big, in my opinion, as the term SEO. Like we're at a place (laughs) not to be super um, extravagant here, but you know, we're at a place where AI is like, it's going to be the new human writer, no doubt. And it's who's going to be there first, who's going to adapt the best. So I think if you, you know, did some marketing where you're like, if I go to your homepage and you did AI assisted content marketing, yeah. And then you put in here, you know, we use the AIO model and you could even mention me. I've seen people whenever they pivot, they mention me and they mention my name and there's some weight that that has because I'm known in content marketing, you know, and when I adapted to AI, people were like, I saw that. Heck? I know. I know. <laughs> I saw that. And then there's some people that are like, what? And I'm like, oh, she did it. She knows what she's doing. And that's the good thing about being good, right? Focused on yeah quality and good truthful oh, results and 100 yes. percent. yes and this fits right into your brand you know because like fact checking trust building yes. that's your your the name <laughs> True yes. brand. 
<laughs> so yeah, I just think you're, you're such a great fit to offer this. And, you know, we're happy to give you all the support you need at any time. Like if you come back and you're like, oh, I need this resource, we'll probably create it for you. So <laughs> just saying, <laughs> Okay. So it wrote the blog. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at the title condo investment strategies, how to reinvest your money. That's a banger. That's good. That's good. Like I couldn't write that any better. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The meta is really good. I'm still amazed. I've been using this for two months and I'm still like, what? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. But even hold in that tax implications. Which is something I would want to know if I was investing. I didn't even think yeah. of adding that. Wow. Yeah, no, I wouldn't think of adding that either in my. Exactly. So over here, the optimization, this is your on-page checklist. This tells you what keywords we need to go in here and include. And that's actually a piece of the framework is that R. So you have to go in, review keyword usage, and just make sure it's in there enough times. So the one in green, we've hit the minimum. And then the ones in orange, we got to add in there just a few more times. And then the goal is always to make it read and sound human, which is why I like actually that the tool doesn't stuff it in for you. It wants you to, you know, do the human writing. That's that's And that's great too. Yeah. 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 And then you have your on-page checklist. So you know, it's saying, oh, we got to break up some paragraphs. We have long paragraphs, all of which I agree with. Like, this is exactly how to write a good blog. So the on-page checklist, you know, the founder of this tool, like he's been doing SEO for 20 years himself. So <laughs> it shows like they know their, they know the standards here. Yeah, so uh, sometimes it's really good to uh, talk to people that have been doing it for a long time because you mm-hmm. see the progression, right? It's different when somebody jumps in and already SEO is here. But if he started when things started to change and evolve and change and evolve, you start to see everything, like the whys behind every change and why you should do this, why you shouldn't do this. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Yeah. So tell me what you think of the quality of this. And let me see if I can zoom in a little bit because that's always like just reading through it. So let's look at the table of contents. Do you like what you see? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Best practices renting out your condo unit. That's one of the first questions that he gets asked. Wow. Um, and again, this is where making it human is amazing because I'm sure um, we have here things different than other places. Plus, he also has his own 10 years of selling condos, right? So he'll have mm-hmm. some tips that then I can just plug in and oh yes. yeah, it's really good. Yes, exactly. So yeah, I see your, your brain's already going, wow, my time is saved. <laughs> <laughs> I can make more money. <laughs> and I provide better, better content. Like I, yeah. Yes, exactly. And this is something I really like too, is the FAQs that it writes. Yeah. Does he Amazing. write for every, like for every blog or? Yes. And you can actually turn that on and off. So in the project settings, yeah. And the click to tweets, you know, you can turn those on and off the key takeaways. You can keep that. And this whole system, it automatically syncs to WordPress. If you go up here under your account, download the WordPress plugin, upload to his site, and then you basically pick your status here. You can do everything from our editor. We recommend that because the editor itself, it'll like shrink down images. It'll speed up everything. Yeah. So it has all that built in. So that way, as soon as you sync it to WordPress, like it's ready to go. So now that you saw it in action, I feel like, you know, it's a much better place to come from because you can actually see the quality, right? And this is something you would probably feel comfortable reselling or, you know, just selling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Especially the, the, the part that it has human touch and you're adding your own personal knowledge to anything. It's a fantastic combination of things Mm. that AI does way better, right? Yes. Yeah. So several approaches are, you know, you could, you could do this yourself, like, with all the extra time, I'm sure you have. (laughs) (laughs) 
Or you could get like a part-time writer, give them the login, teach them how to run the tool. You know, you'll have this recording, you could share this recording with them, tell them to watch it and then have them apply this framework, which by the way, we'll have a full tutorial on this framework um, hitting YouTube soon. And then we have, you know, you also mentioned talking about my mentorship program. We have it in there as well and different tutorials. So if you brought in a writer, several things, you could have them, you know, learn how to use the software, follow the AIO writing tutorial. It'll be out on YouTube. It'll be in my mentorship with more depth. Um, So you could have them do that and then pay them per hour. And what I've seen is if you put out a job for a writer and you're basically saying you're going to optimize AI content, like that'll be your main job, not writing from scratch. So you'll get people that are you know, you, you don't have to look for a high bar of skills anymore. Instead, it's editing. That's your number one skill. So when you position the job and I can send you job copy that we've written for that, you can say like anywhere from 15 an hour to 30 an hour and you usually find a great writer. And then you're paying, you have know, 30 to $40 for the human work. Yeah. So think that's of reselling that, right? You could put any. Yeah, that's, um, that's amazing. Yes. Yes. So that's how I would structure that. And then as far as the, like the marketing and the packages. So let's talk about that. You mentioned, you know, walking through the current offerings, repositioning truth and brand as an early pioneer with AIO. Um, So I think that's, that's, you could start that bam, right on your homepage. You know, I would say like AIO content marketing following, leading practices for blending the best of AI with the best of human work. We yeah. produce content marketing that's going to rank and oh, you could use words. Oh, yeah. like, yeah. that's good. <laughs> of course it's good. It's you. But yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And then you could use words like undetectable. So if you go to, if you go to content scales homepage, there's a lot of words that we're using that I don't want to call them buzzwords because they're they're definitely more than that. They're known terms by people that are like a little bit more skeptical of this stuff. So the people that are more skeptical, not to say your clients could be, but you know, if they were, they would be like, well, does this stuff rank? Yes. Is it original? So undetectable, that's a big word. Our content is 100% undetectable. Let me show you what that means. So if we paste this whole piece into our AI content detector, you should get like 90 plus on the human content score. And ChatGPT won't always do that. Like sometimes it'll be 40% human. Okay, so that blog we just wrote is 96% human. And if you run it through originality.ai, um, GPT-0, you'll get the same results. Like awesome. you'll get, this is highly likely to be human. In fact, our tool is usually harder. So you might get a hundred on the other tools. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So I would say like we, you know, we were creating content with AI, but it's human, you know, it's undetectable, it's original. So kind of taking wording from how we describe our services, even, you know, could be a really good way to do that. And it's interesting. um, We have done free services. You could kind of like study the structure of this. Like this could honestly be an outline of the package you offer. Like here's keyword research the content optimization, and you could set up a subscription. Like you could get Thomas on a month to month. I'll get content on your blog. We'll do like one to two, however much per week. You know, I think we're doing the standard is four or five a week for clients. And it's interesting because this package sells itself. Like they're trying not to sell this. And people are like throwing money (laughs) at this page because for 2000 a month, you get 20 good blogs. Like that's unheard of till now. So I think, you know, if you structured a similar package and just doing some quick math, so let's say, uh, let's say you started at three blogs, that's 12 a month. Let's say you did a package at 12 a month and they were all long form. You know, I would say, you could honestly do that at 2000, the same price as our services, because it's you doing the strategy. So that adds additional value. So let's say you did a package of three a week, that's 12 a month at 2000. And let's say you're paying a writer two hours. Let's say you get an entry-level writer at 17 an hour. 
So that's 34 total per piece. Um, and we said 12 pieces. So that's your payout on a $2,000 package. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. And that's the kind of margin I think you want to have because it's you, you know, talking to the client, doing the footwork to get that client. So, you know, that's awesome that that can, um, you can really cut down the writer's time and then just have them run the tool. So, yeah. yeah. So that's something I would do to like sell it. If you were to like put a package together is wow. you can honestly model it after are done for you and kind of do the same. But yeah. like, tell me your biggest questions here with like how to position it. Uh, that was one of my questions. Like, how do you position it so that people trust you, right? Because a lot mm -hmm. of people that I have talked to about AI and I'm a total advocate for AI, they're like, oh, but it's all the same. Mm -hmm. Am I going to get any original content? Yes. So, yeah, you know, if so you're hesitant about the whole AI yeah. Well, I could see, especially somebody like Thomas, who's like, well, it's me. It's my face. It's my name. You know, there, his audience isn't going here and seeing a robot. They're seeing a person. So especially for him. So, you know, what you could do is before you launch a package, which I think, you know, it's so simple and easy for you to do that. Like this would literally become AIO and you would summarize, you can run the copy by me. I'm happy to look at it and help you write it. But before you launch that, what I would do um, is do something I actually did. And this worked, I'll tell you, this worked so well. It was almost like my bulletproof vest <laughs> to saying, oh, um, hey, I am now on the side of AI. So this story, um, I'll send you the URL afterwards, career change. I just sat down and kind of wrote my heart like, you know, this is where the market's headed. And I think you shared some of that with me in this summary, even like you've, um, you know, you have multiple reasons, honestly, to choose AI. I, I think, think smart reasons. Yeah. You're choosing yeah. it for the right reasons. Yeah. And, and again, I have to like, just like you, like writing stuff, I do have to position it properly because mm -hmm. we're in such small communities that all my clients pretty much hire me because they know I will deliver and I will deliver results and I'm honest because there's mm. other like now everybody's social media marketers or SEO marketers oh or you know, yes everyone so I've seen people here charge some people seven grand for a Google ad campaign and deliver nothing oh my gosh yeah. I've seen that too should, yeah that should have been like 500 bucks what you got for you know <laughs> so sold so them I'm, out nancy <laughs> so what, I, what i'm trying to uh what i'm trying to do is to position it so people trust it mm. because it's the same that it's very much a, a trust based clientele that i have as well yes so i love that your story and Yes. Yeah. So that's what I would do in that case. I would really broadcast something on your own blog and don't have AI write it. <laughs> no. So, and I'm going to take a week off soon here to like add my blog. I already have the pages mm. built. I just haven't had the time to do it, but nice. yeah, that would be a great blog to start. Yes. Yeah. yes. A hundred percent. And you could literally name it why I'm adapting to the AIO model. You could recap like how you and I crossed paths, what yes. you saw, like it took me a while to adapt to AI. You felt the same, you know, maybe you, and you can talk to your clients, like maybe you don't want to damage your personal brand, your reputation. And we all know how chat GPT butchers content, you know? So I think being that direct and upfront, like I was in this piece, you know, you'll see me really rag on chat GPT. Like this is what it wrote. Would you want to read that? Or would you want to read my human writer? Duh, it's very obvious. So then what I said was, well, that changed when I found an AI tool that actually does write good quality. And then what I went into, and this is where you could differ, you know, I went into the story of meeting the founder, going through it. You could talk about how you actually used it and it wrote better content than you would automatically know to write. 
Like it's yes. naming terms in here, you know, that are better <laughs> than oh, what yeah. you would even know. And I think that will, you, your client will be like, oh, okay, I can breathe. Like there's a reason why Nancy who delivers results is choosing AI. And it's a good reason. Like it's actually a better point of reference for me in her services than she herself could be. And that's the argument I think in the end that just drives it home. Like, oh my gosh, when you realize AI is millions of data points better than us, why would you not use it? Duh. That is so crazy. So, cause um, I just finished a user experience design certificate last year. Um, I applied for my women's grant in tech or whatever. So I got it, signed up. Um, and my last, like my final project was working with this um, lady that's developing, we wireframed her app, like high fidelity wireframes. Mm-hmm. And um, she's working to have an AI diagnosis app for women's health. And again, when when we got run through like the, billions of data points that the app can actually compare of doctors across the globe eventually Mm -hmm. um, as to going to like your office doctor where it's the knowledge of just one person. Mm. You know, I think there's a lot of potential for collaboration. Like, of course, it still has to be vetted by a human, I think, but Mm -hmm. all that, like, where are we going to get all those data data points from? Yeah. Yes. Just, yeah. Every time you say it, I'm like, yes. yes. <laughs> I know. I love it. There's like very little teaching here. There's just guiding. <laughs> you know, I, know. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but like, that's where I end. Like, yeah, I think you have a similar point. Like, you know, by adapting to this AI, I'll actually be a better, smarter marketer for you. For me, like I'll be a better, smarter coach teacher. So by ending on that point, like I had people, you know, I had thousands of reactions across social media, whenever I announced my career change, And out of those thousands of reactions, I can tell you, I probably had, I thought one was negative. And then she ended it with, well, I read her blog, and I can see why she did it. So even the negative one was convinced. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. So I think the approach of you telling the story before you launch your services or actually just do it all at the same time, you know, so like, here's the link to my services. Here's the banner, you know, join. I end it with join us in the revolution. <laughs> you can do yeah, the same. I, yeah. <laughs> and here's my new services. You can start today. And so I think that's, you know, that's a great way to not just sell really what you're doing, but also just build so much trust. Yeah, I remember like, you know, 10 years ago, I was studying the best bloggers in the world. And they were like, yeah, we would write 200 headlines by hand. It took us 10 hours. And then out of those 200 headlines, you know, we would A-B test the best ones. And then two days later, we got, oh, that's all gone. <laughs> it is gone. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> yes. oh. It's kind of sad, but it's also, you got to embrace it. <laughs> That's it, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, because some things, of course, they're sad because we, we also like mm. tradition. and Yes, exactly. Like, you know, I'm talking about Ernest Hemingway here. I can't picture exactly. him using AI. Like, nope. That's sacrilegious. Yes. <laughs> so let's see. I'm just writing your action plan here. Yeah, so example. You. Yes. Yes. Um, I'm going to say, write a story to build trust and emphasize why this makes you a better marketer um, and tie it to the launch of AIO content marketing services. And then we'll write a third bullet just for that. So let me do, let me do that quick math again. So if we did, I definitely think you should hire a writer. So it's not all falls on you, you know, to do this. Cap them at two hours per piece um, at 17 an hour. That's, and you know what, let's, let's go with three. Like, let's say you have a very complex piece of content. Cause I want to give you the worst benchmark here possible. (laughs) 
Let's see. So let's say the writer's like, I just, oh my gosh, Nancy, I really need three hours to properly do Julia's framework. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so your payout is 51. And let's say um, you structure a 2K package that includes everything. Um, strategy. 12 pieces of content that's three a week and do you um it sounds like you already do but do you do tracking and analysis for them like here's nice nice love that okay so you structure in aio content marketing package um let's say that's 2k so for 12 pieces of content 12 times we're taking that worst baseline of 51 yeah 51 per piece if they're if they need three hours uh, that's 612 612 is your payout um to the writer editor payout is and then and let's add the cost of consonant scale too something i forgot to do let's do that so let's say you're on the solo plan well hmm I want to get you down to like, see how nice this gets. So if you're doing like 50 posts a month for clients and that's, let's see, if you're doing 12 per month per client, let's just divide some numbers real quick. That's so that's four clients. This plan would cover. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So four clients and then your cost is 20 per post. So let's say you did 20 per post on the scaling plan at continent scale. So if you're doing 20 opposed, then your cost per client with continent scale to write is 240. Okay, so let's do 612 plus 240. So that's your ultimate payout. That's really yeah, that's good. That's yeah. So what I would do 850. Um, I'm gonna bump you up to 2500. That's what I would sell your package for. Cause I was thinking, you know, if you're doing tracking analysis too, and they're talking to you like, yes. oh my gosh, that's on the cheap side, Nancy. Yeah, it is. Eh? Yeah. We talk, we talk stuff. Yeah. People are like, yes. oh, like, no, well, and you know, the tracking and analysis is the only way of proving like where we're yeah. moving to. Right. So exactly. like, I do include it. Yes. I love that you include it. Yeah. And then you could do, you know, like, let's say they needed additional services. Do you do any web design? Let's see. So, web, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Tell me about that. So with website optimization, what I do is audit their whole uh, website and I run it through uh, SEMrush to see like if they have errors, I tackle it differently with Google console. And then I jump on their back end and see what they've done because I don't even know if they've tagged or SEO their images or so if I run through three pages I pretty much have an idea of how bad or good (laughs) their website is and then on the front end I go through their branding and um, I just go through user experience design check and I say okay this is where you are this is where you should be at Mm -hmm. Uh, and this is how we can get you there and so people mm. are like, oh, well, I don't have that much money. I'm like, okay, well, you should face it out then. Mm. On your user experience first, just so that people can actually click and buy from you because right now they don't even know where to click to buy. Yes. Um, and I mean, don't use mine as an amazing example because I service my family, my clients, and then my own website's like... <laughs> sure. <laughs> Um, no, you're, you're headed in the right direction. Like, you know, that's something I saw was your layout was good. So <laughs> make it simple. When I work with a designer, I'm like, we have to make it simple right yes. now. And I contact me because I don't know when I'm going to have time. Like, okay. <laughs> um, no, by now, not just yet. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is, you know, as this grows, like, let's say you get a writer, put this in front of more people, you know, I think your other packages will actually sell more because they'll realize, okay, now we need, 
We need Nancy to optimize our website. We need some SEM. So that's something to keep in mind is I think with um, consistent clients at this package, more sales of other services will occur. Yeah. So that's something you could just, um, I would put, I'm going to put a note here to keep an eye on because what you could do potentially is say, okay, uh, I'm going to run a quarterly audit for you. And that's going to cost X as an add-on. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I would keep an eye on when you start offering this and see what other services would just completely just like a butterfly wing. Oh, it's a no brainer. I need that. <laughs> like that's part yeah. of the pattern here. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the beautiful thing. Like really the content marketing is it's always been the hardest piece because of content creation. Yes. it's you know? all, Yeah. And so you're solving what is their hardest problem to solve is content creation. They don't have time. How do you hire a writer? How do you train that writer? How do you actually know SEO content? You know, poor Thomas spending an hour on a headline. Because <laughs> <laughs> when he told me, oh, let's just do the headlines. Like I want to do them. I'm like, oh God. I'm like, okay, we're going <laughs> to work in meeting and I'll work on your content map and your content uh, calendar mm. and other stuff while you do that. So I already banged out all of his stuff and he was still there writing his headline. So yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so if you showed him or even like if you made a video of yourself walking through it and just telling him like, watch this when you have the time. Oh my gosh. Like that whole flow is mine. <laughs> yes. So I want to do some quick profit margin analysis here. So if we're taking 852, which is your payout, paying for continent scale, plus that writer worst case scenario, three hours. Although I really think you can get them to two. Um, let's say, okay. So divided by 2,500, nope, other way around 2,500 divided by 852. Let's see. So that, okay. So you're at a 51, almost 52% profit margin on delivering content, which is pretty freaking good. It and that could go good. up. That's your worst minimum. Yeah. So, um, and then just keep in mind that at the, that's at this plan, the scaling plan, and this covers four clients. So to afford yeah. this plan, you would just need to find four content marketing clients. Yeah. And I think like, as soon as you put, Hey, I do all your content too. <laughs> as soon as you put I that think. out there, <laughs> oh. cause I'm telling you, we have people throwing money at us for the done for you. Yeah. So yeah. Crazy. Okay. So that's your profit margin. So let's say you did, um, let's say you did four clients at 2,500. Let's say you picked up five and you were like, okay, that is it. That's all I want to do. So that's 12,500 a month. And let's look at the year, the year on that. Oops. Nope. There we go. So that's, you're adding 150,000 a year. Yeah. That's adding. Awesome. That is, that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, and that, shit, if I could add that. Oh, <laughs> and you easily can. I mean, you already have clients. You're not doing content at all. You know, they need it. I think like this is going to be a very easy sell. Amazing. Oh, well, they made, well, I'll tell you, you know, coaching and like doing this with people like you is something that's so rewarding to me. In 2022, um, there was somebody I coached and she ended up 10 xing her revenue by the fall. Oh so I'm telling God. you what we're, what we just did is so based in realism. Like once you put that story out, once you beta test this with a client and then just launch the package and name it AIO and tell them this is something that I'm pioneering with the actual creator of the idea of it, you can reference me and us. You know, so I think putting that out, like it's a foolproof game to sell this yeah. no brainer. And then you're just hiring your writer on the back end of that. So it's not all, you know, falling on you to live in the app and yes. the editing. Yes. Yes. Sounds this good. was so much fun. It oh, was, it was really good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Julie.